Hey, today I'm gonna to cook some, uh, a bunch of food. It's about uh, nine pounds worth of food. And we threw it in the quattro and uh, we're gonna cook it up for the dogs. It's beans, rice, all sorts of crazy stuff that I just showed you, chicken. And uh, we're gonna leave it on there for a while and just see what happens. And uh, I'm sure about uh, two o'clock, the beans will be cooked to perfection and everything will be good. We're cooking it right there in the quattro. These guys can't wait for their dog food. Today I'm going to make some dog food. Got three eggs, carrots, wild rice, pinto beans, chicken, and cabbage. I'm going to throw it in this probably 12 quart pan, put a bunch of water in it, set it out in the solar cooker, and come back this afternoon after I check it a few times. Now about 10.30, the sun came out about 8.45 or so over the trees, and uh, we're cooking. So we're going to check it about 12 or 12.30, see how it looks. Adjustment on the sun sight, I adjusted it, so now it's in perfect registration almost. And uh, solar cooking is all about approximations, so it doesn't need to be perfect, but you want to try and set it up so it is as close to perfect as possible or adjust it for the next move. And then one way to test it is let's see if this lower panel is getting the proper sun. See where my hand starts lighting up? Okay, so it's actually coming quite low, which is hitting right on the pan. So you can see right there, I'm hitting the base of the pan. So I'm actually okay with that. Let's do the same up here and see what happens. So we're getting sunlight all the way down, but you can see I'm losing a little bit of sunlight right here because it's a big cooker and the pan is not as tall, but it's all about approximations. The more firepower you got, the more heat you're gonna get and it's not all perfect. It doesn't always, all of it has to hit the pot, but if you could, it'd be great. 12.38 PM and the sun is directly overhead and I got some trees in the way, so I'm gonna move the cooker, but I'm gonna check it and check the temperature of everything. Here's what the organic dog food looks like. At 175 degrees, I think. 180, that means it's all completely done. I'll double check the beans. I may have to throw some more rice in there, I mean, some more water in there and let it simmer a little bit longer. We'll see. The water is off the charts. 190, I'm gonna add some more water and let those beans just simmer some more and take out the eggs, take out the chicken, because it's done. More water filled it up and now we're going to let it soak for the afternoon. I'm sure it'll be done, done, done. These carrots, they're soft already, but uh, the beans could use a little bit more. Back in the saddle and uh, added more water and we're ready to cook some more for the afternoon. 3.57 p.m. And as you can see, the cooker's way out of register because I haven't moved it in a couple hours. Perfect position, I'm gonna take it out and weigh it. It's about four o'clock. Looks like everything is cooked to perfection. I'm gonna go in and weigh it and see how much it weighs. Hot enough to eat it, almost 190 degrees. <laughs> That's over 10 pounds worth of food.